Welcome to lecture 3. In this lecture we'll take a look at our index.html file which is the starting point for the application. The application itself is structured like this. The index.html file embeds our own script which is called model.js. But also this script uses other scripts that we have taken from the FreeJS library such as the orbit controller, the GLTF loader and of course the library itself. Those will be imported in the model.js script. In Visual Studio Code we are going to use the HTML5 template. Just type in HTML and select HTML5 from the list and this is the template. The only thing I want to change now is the title. So I give it my own title and then save it and that's it. For styling we are going to use a popular CSS library called Booma. So here we are at the Booma website. And by clicking Getting Started, Overview and Start, you see the different manners in which you can embed the Booma styling into your project. This looks very much like our own HTML5 template and you see in the header is the link element or link tag which contains a URL to where the Booma library can be downloaded. This is from what we call a Content Delivery Network or CDN. And this is what it looks like in our code. So in the header is the link tag containing the CDN link to the Booma library. So let's take a look how the Booma styling works. Styling libraries in general work using references from the element which you want to style. So here you see the div element and the class attribute contains a name that refers to an element in the Booma styling CSS. So now this div element is styled according to the rules set out in the container class of the Booma styling library. We mainly use Booma for the layout of our website. The container class will hold everything together. Inside it we are going to work with columns. Just like Booma, most styling libraries work with a maximum of 12 columns. The columns class holds the different single columns together. So it's like an array or list. Inside the container we will nest a new element of class columns and inside this columns element we will create the single columns. So using the column class we can create a single column. The width of an individual column is defined by its name. So adding to the class name column is dash 2 will create a column of width 2. We create actually two columns, so the first one has a width of 2 and the second one a width of 6. And in this last column of 6, we are going to create our virtual reality. For this we will be using three more classes from Booma. First of all for the title a card header, then the card for our actual VR and then a card which contains the slider by which we can set the intensity of the growing lamp. Let's go through it step by step. So here we see the container. Nested inside the container is the columns class. Nested inside the columns class, it's like an array or a list, are our two individual columns. So the first one has a width of 2 and the second has a width of 6. And this is where we are going to create our virtual reality. And here we see the three elements of our VR. So first the card header, it contains a title and also the h1 tag contains a class that refers to a boomer. So here we set the size to 1. The card element for our VR also contains an ID which is set to model. This is so we can store this element later in JavaScript into a variable. Further we use some inline styling to set the background color to black and to give this element a minimum width and a minimum height. Why we need this black background color is explained in one of the later lectures. For now the last card element only contains some placeholder text, but later on we will create the slider. Just before closing the body element we embed our model script using the script tag. The script tag contains the path to our model.js file and the type attribute which is set to module because we are building our application with JavaScript modules. And this is the completed version of our index.html file. Now let's run it with our live server. So right click and open with live server. And everything is as expected. So we have this nice title, we see our element with the black background and the placeholder text below. That's it for now, so see you in the next lecture.